Our dog's whiskers aren't just cute pieces of hair attached to their face. They're an extraordinary network of sensory superhighways responsible for relaying important information from the external world to your dog's intricate nervous system and brain. For us mere human beings, our faces are graced with nothing more than peach fuzz and beards since we rely on other senses to navigate our modern-day world. But our lack of these extraordinary sensory tools doesn't mean that we can't bridge the gap between our sensory perceptions and those of our canine companions. By exploring the intricate world of dog whiskers, we pave the path for a deeper connection. A deeper understanding of how our dogs sense the world prompts us to also be more patient with our canine companions, like when they demonstrate cautious behaviors such as an aversion to strong wind or when they hesitate to approach an unfamiliar object. What are dog whiskers? Also known as vibrissi, dog whiskers are much different than your average dog's hair. Whiskers are thicker and coarser than hair due to the important role they play in providing dogs with sensory perception. Whiskers are also deeply rooted in the skin, allowing greater stability and sensitivity. Each whisker is rooted into a follicle that is blessed with ample nerve endings. While whiskers may appear to be all the same, they are actually created to provide different pieces of information based on where they are localized. Indeed, depending on where they are found on a dog's face, whiskers are called in different ways. What types of whiskers do dogs have? Dogs have four different types of whiskers, namely mustachial whiskers, genal whiskers, supraorbital whiskers, and mandibular whiskers. While each type of whisker serves specific functions based on where they are located, they can ultimately work as a team to provide dogs with a comprehensive sensory map of their surrounding environment. Let's take a closer look at the different types of dog whiskers. One, mustachial whiskers. Mustachial whiskers are the most notorious and visible whiskers. They are the first type of whiskers that come to mind when thinking about whiskers. The term mustachial derives from the word mustache due to these whiskers' horizontal display around the nose, which reminds people of a mustache. Generally, they consist of 12 to 24 whiskers arranged in four to five rows on either side of their snout. Function. A dog's mustachial whiskers carry a variety of functions. They can help dogs detect changes in air currents and provide information about the various shapes and sizes of objects in their surrounding environment. A dog's mustachial whiskers can even be used as a form of communication. 2. Genal Whiskers These whiskers are located on both sides of a dog's cheeks. According to Merriam-Webster, the word genal is used to depict the cheek or lateral side of the head, also known as zygomatic whiskers. These whiskers can be identified by looking at the dog's cheeks very closely. There can be one or two sets, and they typically sprout from what looks like a small dimple. The upper genal whiskers are found behind the eye, while the lower genal whiskers are found by the corner of the lower jaw. Function These whiskers can help in detecting the presence of surrounding objects on the left and on the right, and help dogs in gauging distances. Four Superorbital Whiskers also known as superciliary whiskers, these whiskers are located right above the dog's eyes. One peculiarity of these whiskers is that if you gently tap on this whisker, your dog will reflexively close his eyes. Function: These whiskers provide dogs awareness of their surroundings, especially from the above, and also play a protective role by preventing damage to the dog's eyes from exposure to sharp, protruding objects such as branches. 5. Mandibular Whiskers Submental Mandibular whiskers is a general term meant to refer to whiskers found by the dog's lower jaw. The term submental is a more specific description used to depict whiskers found under the dog's chin. The interremal tuft is the term used to depict the little bunch of whiskers that typically sprout from a dog's small dimple right under the chin. Function these whiskers allow dogs to perceive the depth of things below their chin, whether they are drinking water from a bowl or sticking their head in a hole. Why do dogs have whiskers? Dogs have whiskers for many good reasons. Let's take a closer look at dog whisker functions and why they are so important. 1. Aids for hunting Evolutionarily, dogs have whiskers because of their past as hunters. Whiskers helped dogs successfully navigate through challenging environments, such as thick underbrush and at times of dark or low visibility since dogs, as hunters, were active not only during the day but also at dusk and during the night. While dogs no longer hunt for a living, evolutionary theorists suggest that they must have persisted because they still carry important roles, considering that nature is conservative and does not expend energy on the maintenance of useless organs. McGill, 1980. 2. Providers of Tactile Information 
Whiskers nowadays still provide dogs with pertinent tactile information at times when their visual perception prevents them from gaining a clear view of objects found in close proximity to their face. When whiskers are stimulated, dogs can deduce the distance, direction, and texture of objects, and they can coordinate the movement of their muzzle accordingly. Courtesy of whiskers, dogs may know how far their water and food bowls are from their face and how close their chin is to the ground when sniffing. Served by the largest of the 12 pairs of cranial nerves, the trigeminal nerve, dog whiskers have been compared to antennas. When anything in the environment happens to rub against them, the whiskers vibrate and transmit feedback to the dog about his surroundings. Interestingly, the term vibrisi derives from the ancient Latin word vibrio, which means to vibrate. Three protective mechanisms. When an object comes in contact with the whiskers located right above the dog's eyes, this will cause the dog to reflexively blink and possibly turn its head away. This comes in handy when dogs are walking in areas with protruding sticks, thick brush and thickets. Whiskers also protects your dog's eyes from being accidentally poked by human fingers. Four, detectors of air currents. Whiskers also allow dogs to detect the subtle movement of air currents and even the movement of objects nearby. Based on the vibration produced by the object, courtesy of whiskers, dogs can deduce the object's size, shape, and moving pace. 5. Informers of tight passages With whiskers scattered throughout the dog's face, dogs are also capable of making informed decisions, such as whether they can squeeze through tight passages without the risk of getting stuck. In their ancestral past, whiskers could have helped dogs gauge the width of tight passages, such as entrances to maternity dens or underground burrows for the purpose of hunting down ground-dwelling critters. Nowadays, it is possible that whiskers may turn out helpful in dogs as they enter tight passages, such as small spaces under furniture, or as they stick their heads in holes they have dug or rush through agility tunnels. 6. Useful for communication On top of providing sensory information, dog whiskers can be used for communication. Attached to a dog's facial muscles, whiskers can provide insights about how a dog is feeling by looking at their position. Just like dogs can raise their hackles, it is possible for them to also make their whiskers move around. For example, when dogs are aggressively aroused or feel threatened, their whiskers are turned outward and in a forward position in the direction of impending danger. It is possible that whiskers may play a functional role during combat between dogs. Increasing the awareness of their opponent's location and movements points out Stephen Lindsay in his Handbook of Applied Dog Training and Behavior. Avon evokers of startle responses. Since upon touching certain whiskers, dogs respond reflexively, triggering auto-protective mechanisms, there is a possibility that a dog's response to ambiguous activities such as kissing or petting a sleeping dog's face may stimulate sensations that may be interpreted as an attack, suggests Stephen Lindsay. There are chances that a dog's whiskers keep providing sensory information while other sensory and attentional resources are on standby, so to say, such as when dogs are sleeping. A dog's startle response to touch when sleeping may be further enhanced by dreams. As it happens in humans, as dogs awaken from a dream, the boundaries between the dream world and reality may be blurred. During this transitory state known as hypnopompia, residual images, emotions, and sensations may linger and distort how the dog perceives the owner's touch upon awakening, leading to potentially disinhibited attacks, explains Lindsay. Can you cut a dog's whiskers? Dog whiskers are often cut or plucked when dogs are competing in the show ring. The procedure is carried out for aesthetic reasons, since removal of whiskers gives the dog's head a cleaner look, supposedly increasing the dog's chances of winning. With whiskers providing dogs with so much sensory information, it's not a matter of can you cut a dog's whiskers, but should you cut a dog's whiskers? Anecdotal reports of dogs showing decreased spatial orientation or appearing overall confused are plentiful after having their whiskers trimmed. This makes perfect sense considering how, when whiskers are cut, dogs are suddenly deprived of the ability to judge the distance of nearby objects, which ultimately negatively impacts their overall sense of confidence. In conclusion, dog whiskers are important sensory tools. They provide dogs with information about how to navigate in confined spaces and low-lit environments. They are communicative tools that have accompanied dogs for centuries and survived the process of domestication and selective breeding. Finally, as important sensory tools, a dog's whiskers should never be cut.